Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I got a Halloween prop in the mail today, and I just wanted to show you guys what it is and why I'm extremely disappointed with it. Uh, so here we go. Okay, so I got the life-size animated Sally to go with Jack. And I think Jack is pretty decent quality. However, Sally is kind of disappointing. Uh, they're both made by Jimmy. And so far, I just got her put together, just took her out of the box, literally just got her in the mail. But so far, this is what's wrong with her. Okay, so these socks right here are separate pieces that you actually have to put on yourself. And there are her feet. Well, straight out of the box, one of her feet were completely broken off from the leg. Luckily, I was able to just pop it back in, but the glues broke, and they are not supposed to come off. So, her leg, or her foot is broken from her leg. Next, her outfit, not only are the seam lines on it absolutely horrible, that looks terrible. Really bad job done on that. She has shoulder pads sewn in. Well, this arm over here, if you can see, was sewn wrong, so the entire shoulder looks wonky. I don't know how that would pass inspection, but I mean, that is that looks horrible. Um, also, I don't know if you notice when her arm goes the other way, but watch on her, watch on this side right here. Do you notice something bulging out? That's because the main gear to move her arm is so big, it pushes the entire side of her dress out and looks like a huge bulge. It looks like teetotal garbage. That's another design flaw. Also, um, the stickers that they put on all these pieces, well, the rose in her hand is made out of uh, very thin latex which they put a sticker on, and you know those stickers never want to come off. So now all this sticker is stuck on the rose, and I'm scared to take it off because it's probably going to tear a giant hole in it since it's made out of thin, crappy latex. Next, if you notice, her eyes aren't closing all the way like they're supposed to when she blinks. Let me activate her again. See, it's supposed to go all the way down, and it's not. Next, take her dress off here. She has this under, I don't know what you'd call it, I guess it's to make her look more, give her more shape, I guess. Well, it doesn't fit, and it pretty much just hangs on the arms right here, and it's more of a hassle getting it on than it's even worth using. I don't know if it's to also to protect mechanics or what, but it's just, none of this fits right. Uh, the legs and the arms are, they look nice, but this plastic is so thin that I would imagine if you barely hit it on something or dropped it or God forbid you have her outside and she falls over, it's going to be destroyed. Um, what else was it? This top part, it looks like her hair is Velcroed on up here. I don't know. I'm just extremely unhappy with this one, especially for the price. I feel like corners were cut. It's just, it's cheap. It ha Half of the features on it aren't working right. The clothes don't fit. The mechanical arm that moves her arm bulges out of the side of the dress and looks horrible. Her dress doesn't fit. The seams are terrible. The shoulder, this shoulder over here looks wonky and does not fit. All in all, if I had to rate her and Jack both, I give Jack probably an eight or a nine. This one I give like a two. Her dress looks like crap. Anyway, if anybody's thinking about buying this one before you do, just be aware, it's cheap. Mine came broken straight out of the box. The foot, the uh, 
clothes, the sticker stuck all over the rows, um, the gear or the mechanical arm that literally bulges out of the side of the dress and looks awful. Uh, yeah. This one is probably worth $99 at most. And I'll let you hear how loud she gets, which is not loud at all. That's another thing, the audio quality is awful. Yeah, the audio quality on this is absolutely terrible as well. Um, I know I can undo her hair and try to block that side of her body so you don't see the, uh, the gear sticking out of the side of her dress. But this is honestly, I own probably 70 plus animated props and this is probably, I think, one of the lowest quality ones I've ever purchased. It's just, I don't know, I'm very disappointed, extremely. Also, the Jack Skellington one, his mechanics and whole setup is completely different. This seems more like a Seasonal Visions base and stuff to me, but I'm positive it's not Seasonal Visions. Seasonal Visions is a lot better quality too. This is just... I don't know. Do any of you have this prop? Am I the only one that's disappointed? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm really pissed off about this. <laughs> 